of firepower for Houston. As the Rockets have won six consecutives, this miniseries concludes. There's a closeout by Horford and the Rockets. It's just a matter, can you make that adjustment to get out there and, and close? Because they can shoot pretty good with a hand in his face, as you can see. The A record. And we talked a lot about it in the, in the pregame show, just what the Thunder have to do to slow down shot yeah, no, yeah, that, That's a contested shot. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to continue to make that all night. It's just a matter of closing out on them. As a to Tate, the rookie, and he got stripped from behind. Nicely by Maladone, two on one for the Thunder. Diallo attacks, goes right up at the rim in the scoop. To accomplish in an NBA game, folks. There's the kick out. Baisley had another good look at the three. And got to be able to attack this Houston high-powered offense. Gordon will keep it himself, and we got an and one. Stay aggressive. Don't allow the Rockets offense to stay in rhythm either. Oladipo off that to Houston, just 3.9 on the shot clock. Ball entered in, Wood camped out, corner three, and he's got himself a... As the shot clock hits five, Baisley surveys, Horford posted up, takes a bump, and a nice little turnaround. Lawson just alluded to, and just beelines it to the basket. So much athleticism, and there is Oladipo. He knows how to shake, and a little bait too at the end. It's tough, too, going against the grain and using the left hand, as you see Oladipo. It's a battle for the rebound between Williams and Horford. Williams attacks and he got blocked 15 year NBA career, but when I'm wide open, I got a good chance Well also to add on that as cousins comes right if you dribble Well, 49% of all shots contested are going to be missed That's some great action there between but The defense much sounder here in the first as cousins boy he turned the corner there on Paisley this time Looks like he was going to initiate the offense instead. It is Williams with a little more pace, a little more aggression, energy, certainly engaged here in the early part of the second quarter as House goes out to the perimeter. Williams, open corner, lets it fly, and he's got a three. Maladone back in, came over to try to put a little pressure on Wood, who's still able to well played. First half for OKC. The Rockets stymied here on this end of the floor in a second effort. Put back. Wow, forcing the Rockets to miss a lot of chippies at the basket. Orford takes a bump and counter than a foul. Off the free throw line, you know, when they've struggled to score in the half court. Gordon, little burst, and able to get to the rim. Physicality, and he wanted the Rockets to feel his team a little bit more. The Thunder made life difficult as Jackson right there with. Almost like a jump shot, a teardrop. Gordon will connect. Just the fifth three of the first half for the Rockets. Maladone surveys. What a move! Nice play. Tail together. Another nice performance. Horford matched up on Gordon. Too much speed that time. Horford sends it up the floor, but he gives it right back to Oladipo. A lot of contact as Cousins drains that. Making life difficult for Houston shooters throughout the course of this game, swallowing up airspace as Tate was trying to sell the contact. Jump pass back out to the perimeter. Jackson gives it right back to him. There's that cut. We saw it a lot in the first half that time. A, a near force, really, Mike. And again, he's trying to get his offense going, and that time able to bait. That's just two guys getting used to playing with each other. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Maladon's trying to make that pass. <laughs> Got to mishandle the ball. Horford muscled it up, but on the weak side of the game. And Jackson takes it that away. Thunder with numbers. Baisley slicing down the lane, and the beautiful finish. See what Gordon does here. Got the whole side of the floor to himself, and he'll take Jackson. You, you know it, man. And as I said, folks, yesterday was groundhog day. How about this great passing again? That's just beautiful coming out of on the dunk. Oh, oh and Hamadou Diallo came from behind and stole it away. And we got liftoff. That's right, partner. And that was a downshift for him almost. There is a explore the thunder and, and something a little bit different here is Diallo is going to handle the point as Horford's been going to that move throughout the game. Just Let's force him into a tough shot. Williams able to keep his dribble alive somehow. Still worked his way down. The 
Williams stepping up. Here is Roby again taking the bump. Does not get big body. Tate off that glass. Well, how about the step through? Great wow. ball fake there. Shooting 19% from downtown. Seven out of 37 after 28 on Mondays. Well, the Thunder's grip on this game has been tight throughout. Really from the first quarter, it has continued throughout, and it continues. Been a, a real big booster for the Thunder on so many different levels, as you see once again the defense collapsing. And just devouring DeMarcus Cousins there on that drive. And it's Roby on the other end. Thunder Bench has just been getting the job done here tonight. Outscoring the Rockets 44-15. And what has been a been there all night long. Absolutely. You brought up a good point, you know, just in that last timeout. You know, where, where you were talking. Balance tonight with aggressive defense. Not allowing any kind of free looks. Forcing turnovers and not putting Houston at the free throw. 20 point lead almost midway through quarter number four. Williams adds to his total as he's got. Steven Silas is going to his bench. As he's so it has not been really a close game since the, the first quarter. Here is Williams, 19 points. His career high is 21. Horford lines it up. Tonight at 11 p.m. for your vote to count twice. And don't forget that you can also retweet the Thunder's mentions of Shea. Fall series, Mike, where you get to play a team consecutive times. And you get to work off of what happens with game one. And the Thunder really trying to 34-plus minutes here tonight in that starting role. As that three is canned there by on all facets. This is going to be an interesting team to watch throughout the course of the, the regular season because... Everybody assumes that the Rockets are just going to sort of fall apart in the absence of James Harden, but 